Hello, welcome back to Cost Accounting Chapter 6. Uh, Alex here again to bring you an example. So this is example 6.1, computing equivalent units of production for materials, labor, and overhead. And so we're only doing case 3 because if you've taken the class, that's usually what's assigned. And there, case 3 is enough to explain what's going on. So as you can see in case 3, um, example A, all materials go into production at the beginning of the process. So basically everything for materials is added. So it's all 100% because as soon as you start production, it's at the beginning, everything's included. So the, um, the units, the finished units, the ones that are finished, during the period, you add the full amount of twenty-nine thousand plus the two, the um, the ending, the two five thousand ending, which equals ten thousand. They're all hundred percent, which gives you equivalent units of thirty-nine thousand. Now the labor and overhead are added, are added evenly throughout the process. So they're going to be different than the materials. So they're going to go. It's going to still be whatever's finished, whatever started and finished during the period. But also, um, whatever they, whatever it says at the end, like if it says one fourth or one half, that's exactly what it's going to be. So five thousand times one fourth would be one thousand two hundred fifty. Five thousand at one half would be two two thousand five hundred, which add those together gives you thirty two thousand seven hundred fifty. So labor and overhead go exactly by what it says. How how much it's completed is exactly what you're going to use. Whereas materials, you're going to go by whatever it says. So you can see, when you're assigning costs, materials is going to have more equivalent units than factory and labor. Um, now, this won't change for each different situation, A, B, and C. This is going to be the same because it's always added evenly. So this, I didn't have to rewrite for each, each one. So this will, this will be the same answer for um, scenario A, B, and C for case three. Okay, so B, materials are added at the end. So when they're added at the end, the, the ones that are finished, started in process and finished, because they're finished, the full 29,000. But the ones that are added to work in process at the end of the period, because, because they're only one-fourth and one-half, zero, none. Because unless they've finished, unless they're finished, they don't get, there's no materials within them. And of course, the other part, the labor and the overhead is going to look just like that. And then for now, for C, units are added. Um, this one can throw people for a loop. At the beginning of the process, 75% of the materials go into production, and 25% go into production when the process is one half completed. So what we're going to do for this one is these ones are still 29,000 because they're finished. They started in the process and finished by the end. But those two five thousands are now going to be a little bit different. Because 75% of materials go in at the beginning, when it's, and then the other 25% goes in when it's half completed, this is only one-fourth completed. So this is only going to get 75% of the 5,000, which, leave, which leaves us with 3,750. Now, the other 5,000 are one-half completed. So all materials are added. So you're going to put the full amount, because as soon as they hit that one-half, you add the other 25% of materials into production, you, you get to use all of them. So it's the 29,000 plus the 3,750 plus the 5,000 equals 37,750. And as you can see when you're doing these problems, what's most important are what was finished during the period and what is in the ending inventory. Don't pay attention when it gives you the beginning, the opening, and um, don't pay attention to what, it's, what, what, what was started. All that matters was what was finished and what is not finished but still in the in an inventory. And I want to show you a little um, a diagram, a little visual. So there's a conveyor belt. This is a conveyor belt. And 75% of materials starts right at the beginning. So right off the bat, you save every percent of your lumber or your hog goes right into here. And then once it's half completed, half complete, 
then you're going to add in the other 25% of materials. And that's that's how that's how that's what it's basically trying to tell you is it's when you're making the stuff, 75% starts in production, and you don't put the other 25% of the stuff in until it hits the half. So that's the visual. So you can think of it as you're in a factory, it's a conveyor belt, you're adding different stuff in, and um, labor and overhead is added evenly. So it's almost like if it's one half complete, then it's one half complete as to overhead and, out and factory overhead. So the evenly is very simple to, to grasp as in it. Whatever it tells you how much it's completed is exactly how much it's completed as to factory overhead and labor. So uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps. Uh, and I might start Chapter 7 on the cost accounting, whatever need be. But if this helped, um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and whatnot. And if you like the video, you can feel free to like it and subscribe because I'm going to be doing every accounting class eventually, one by one. So thank you so much, and I'll see you for the next round.